Hi, and welcome to the Highboy Electric Bike EX6. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing. So first, we're gonna start by unboxing the packaging. Okay, so after taking the bike out, make sure you place it on a flat surface, and then inside the box, you will find your seat, and also another box that will have all the accessories inside you need for the bike assembly. Okay, so inside of our box, we're gonna have first our pedals, so we can take these out, just sit them over here. And then next, we're gonna have our charging cable. Sit that here next to our pedals. And then this is going to be your front light for the bike. We can sit that here. And then this is gonna be the tool kit that we're gonna use here in just a minute for the rest of the bike assembly. And then lastly, we're gonna have our fixing rod. Okay, so this bike is equipped with a 500 watt motor, which is capable of speeds up to 25 miles per hour, which is powered by here, if you can see, a 48 volt battery that with a full charge, you can travel up to 40 miles. So now we're gonna start taking off some of the outer packaging before we put this thing together. Okay, so this is gonna be your front fender here. This is actually, we'll just take this off and set it down here. And this is gonna be your front wheel. So I'm actually left-handed, we can take this off. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put the front light on and the fender. So first we'll take this screw out and set this guy down. And then the actual fender is gonna go on from the back. And set this guy here, the light, move that out of the way. We'll no need to put it on all the way in the beginning. Just make sure it's a little bit tight so nothing falls off. So just a couple more here, and that should be about good. So here, all we have to do is connect the light, and it should be good. Okay, so next we're gonna be putting our handlebars on, so we'll Take this cap off first, and then uh, we'll put the bottom piece in, just because it can be a little tricky. So with these, you can actually adjust the height uh, quite a bit. Um, I like my handlebars uh, up a little high. If you want to set it really low, that's also okay. Um, so just to make sure this doesn't move on us, want to make sure the handlebars are in line with the wheel, just so you're not driving all crazy. So here, you can actually rotate these quite a bit. Um, like I said, this is totally preference. Uh, for me, I like to have them pretty much straight, so we'll just set them like this for now, and then make sure these are on nice and tight. So next we're gonna put our seat in. Uh, so obviously you can adjust the height. We'll leave it up here just a bit. So then all you have to do is lock this in place, and you'll see it'll be good. So with the bike, you're gonna get two sets of keys. Um, so first, this will be all the way to the right is your on position. And then next will be the off position. And then to take out the battery, you have to push it in and pull it all the way to the left. And then we'll set our seat up this way. And then once, like I said, once you have the battery unlocked, you can pull it out like this. And then make sure when you put it back in, there's gonna be a click just like that. And then set it and then lock it. So next we're gonna put the wheel on. So in order to do that, we're gonna flip the bike over. So first, we're gonna take our screen and we're gonna rotate it down this way just so we don't accidentally break it whenever we rotate the bike. Okay, so next we're gonna talk a little bit about the tires. So the stock tires that come with this bike are 20 by four in size and these tires are actually suitable for a lot of different types of terrain. So if you check the treading here on the wheels, if you're going through sand, you're going through mud, you're going through water, you're mountain biking, any of those sort of situations, these tires are gonna be great. So next we're gonna be putting the wheel on. So we'll take this piece off first, and then we have another piece here that we can remove. And then here, I'll show you on the back, this also needs to come off. And make sure that the metal is facing outwards when you put this on. So the wheel will just slip right in here and then we'll take the, the fixing rod. We can remove this. And there's gonna be two springs. We only wanna take off one. And this will go straight through the tire. And then make sure with the spring, you wanna take the small end 
and put it on and have the big end facing out. And then we'll just make sure that we put this. And then make sure once the wheel is on, spin it first. And if you hear no sound, it's on correctly. So on your two pedals, you'll be able to see uh, where the right and the left one go. All right, so we're gonna put the right pedal on first. You'll just turn it clockwise. After your pedal's screwed in, just take the wrench and make sure that it's tight. Just like that. So now that our bike's assembled, we can rotate our monitor back to whatever position that we like. And then we're just gonna double check here that the reflector is on tight. So for the last adjustment on the handlebars, if we just loosen it up here, you can see that it can, uh, you can actually change the angle at which the handlebars set. So here on the right, you can see that it's from 10 to 50 degrees. Once you find the angle that you like, all you have to do is tighten it back up. And then you'll have a cap and this just goes right here in the top. So now that our bike assembly is finished, we can test it out. So remember to turn the bike on all the way to the right down here with the keys. And then we'll also turn our tracking monitor here so we can check our speed and our battery. So on the top here, we have our light and the bottom will be your horn. And then here you can change the different modes for your driving. Okay, so now that we're done with our assembly, it's time for us to go outside and try our new bike.